here. So time, you're contested. You get your own rebound. Shoot. Yeah, so now he's got the ball. Yeah? So after he's contested, well he's here now, so. You contested. You're passing, getting after him. Turn around, Lou, get ready to shoot. You're passing, there we go. I'm going to time you, I want to see how long it takes. Alright, this is the warm up, but game shots. Confess correctly as well. to freeze, make six in each spot. You've got five minutes again, let's go, same thing. If you miss, that's a long run. Focus on the mix now, let's go. You need, you need not to, bro. I'll be back. I'll be bro, back. just one. Bro, you, you, do you want him to pull up all the archives? I don't care. You want to pull up all the archives? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. It's a new year. Defender's got a ball. Offensive player, all you're doing is one post dribble. Defender, you've got one of three reads to make. Yeah. Last week we used the ball to make the read obvious. Today it's the feet. So you've got to read my feet. Okay, so if I step here, you go in. Yeah? If I step this way, attack my front foot, attack my front foot, yeah? And if I step back, pull it, yeah? It's off a pocket dribble, so all it is, is one pocket dribble. As I make a pocket dribble, my defender needs to make a decision. Ty and Kane are going to be together. Ty, Ty Wo and Kane are going to be together. Ty, Lou and Adam are going to be together, all right? We're going to spend five minutes at each spot. Three spots, so it's 15 minutes of shooting. At the end of the 15 minutes, I want to see which pair gets the highest score. Twos and ones, all right? After the use of one or two dribbles, does it have to be a conventional pull-up? Snatches, step back, get creative, and take the shots you take in game. Three, two, one, let's go. Ah, read it. Count out loud. doing now is just trying to get as much shots as possible with some kind of defender there. If you look at a lot of the high level coaches, everything they do has some kind of defender or has some element of competition to it. So that's what we're trying to do with all the drills. Because um, what we don't want is guys going into their respective teams in the summer or even some of them playing for national teams, going in rusty and not used to competition. So um, the guys enjoy it, they get their shots up and then off the back of this we go into 100% live stuff. 
um, which is, should be fun and we can really start training and have a look at it, how they read the game. point in the off season for us it's about kind of managing everyone's different levels and where they are in terms of in terms of competition wise in terms of where they're signing next year um Tywo has obviously literally just come back from playing pre Eurobasket qualifiers for Ireland um Jono is currently away at the moment playing for Uganda and then we've got Kane who's in and out of England camp um will be competing in the Commonwealth Games for three on three so I think for us it's about kind of getting that mixture of giving the guys an opportunity to get reps up but then also for those like Louis, um, Ade that want to compete, Ty that want to compete, I've given them a chance to do that as well. So you see today guys really went at it. Um, Ty was just out and here to get reps up because he's flying out tonight to play in a tournament over the weekend. So um, yeah, for me it's just kind of like balancing people with different levels. Um, a few guys were out today, some were ill, some were injured. And again, that's kind of part and parcel of balancing and managing people's injuries and other life commitments as part of it as well. Um, but yeah, we're excited. We've got a few more weeks left. Um, I think about yeah, four more weeks until I go on holiday. So four more weeks with the guys and then I'm done for the summer. They'll go off to their respective places to work out and then they'll go into pre-season.